What's up guys, Eric Price, Focus Fishing Guide Service, Table Rock Fishing Intel. Got another video fishing report for you for Table Rock Lake. It is uh, Tuesday, April 18th, happy tax day. As far as our lake level is concerned, we are at 914.72, which puts us 0.3 feet down. Core's done a really good job of moving all the water through the lake. Uh, beaver's still high, bull is still high, but they're dropping those as well. Water temperature, it's, we got some really warm water temperature over the weekend, then we had those two or three cold nights, and it knocked it back down quite a bit, but there's still a pretty wide range. Um, mid lake, main lake, you're right around 60 degrees, anywhere from about 59 to about 61, depending on time of day, amount of sun, that sort of thing. It is warming every day. You get up into the rivers and it's much warmer. I just was in the James and we saw between 63 and 65 all morning while we're out crappie fishing. So definitely seeing some warmer temperatures where the water's got some stain to it. So it is kind of all over the map. Um, the best way to stay on top of that and best way to know what's going on as far as the fishing is concerned is of course to join Table Rock Fishing Intel and become a pro member. Plus you get the extended version of this particular video where uh, we get into a lot more detail on the baits and the banks and everything else how we're catching them and where we're catching them on table rock lake but as far as the fishing is concerned um been on the water every day but uh sunday we did wound up not fishing sunday because of the wind and the cold but uh fished every day up until then and every day since then uh, the bite's been a little bit different since the cold front came through, but it really hasn't changed that much. Um, two best bites I've got going right now. Catch them, still catching them pretty good on a swim bait. Uh, Kytec 2.8 on a quarter ounce head. Um, most of the fish I'm catching on that seem to be post-spawn fish that have pulled out and are chasing shad. I'm sure some of them are still pre-spawners that haven't moved up, but it seems like most of them are starting to see some with bloody tails, flat bellies, that sort of thing. But we are catching fish out there on a 2.8 on a quarter ounce head um, and the depth range is anywhere from I mean, most of them are only down about eight to ten feet but they can be over as much as 40 or 50 feet just chasing the schools of shad you're really looking for shad for that bite other bite that's working really well is with the jewel squirrel head i've been matching it up with a senko and did match it up with a uh, craw the other day a speed craw the other day but um, still hitting those mixed gravel and rock banks um and those fish if you don't have the moss around those fish will be right up on the bank if you've got moss they're going to be out a little bit seems like the moss is kind of coming and going in certain locations depending on water temperature and water color up the james we had very little of any moss today uh yesterday between baxter and uh indian or um, campbell point we had we had some but it really wasn't bad so it really just kind of depends on water color water temperatures where you're going to see the moss Catching fish doing that anywhere from the bank out to about 12 feet. Crankbait bite has kind of gotten away from me as far as like uh, the wiggle wart and the um, rock crawler bite. I did talk to some guys over the weekend that caught a few on it, but they seem to think that bite's starting to go away as well. The spinner bait, chatter bait bite has started up though. We are starting to definitely see some fish coming on a spinner bait and a chatter bait. Uh, mostly around wood cover, whether it be standing timber, lay downs, that sort of thing, or if you can find some bushes in the water especially on a windy day cloudy day you can catch them on a chatterbait or spinnerbait and then the top water bite the top water bite was actually getting pretty strong there until that massive front came through on saturday uh we did have some blow-ups on it yesterday but we didn't hook up with any fish but i'm i'm saying the top water bite will probably be pretty strong by the end of the week but guys we are in this you know in the 60s water temperature wise the bite's definitely turning on things are getting better best way to stay on top of it best way to know what's going on Join Table Rock Fishing Intel and become a pro member, get the extended report, and get all the daily reports and all the other information that we put on there every day to help you catch more fish on Table Rock Lake. But if you're coming down, want to hire a guide, give me a call. It's Focus Fishing Guide Service. You can reach me at 417-860-4743 or hit my website, focusfishing.com, and you can either book online or shoot me an email. Either way, I get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching the videos, guys. Again, check out Table Rock Fishing Intel if you haven't done so. But thanks for watching. Can't wait to hear from you. We'll see you on the water.